How are you guys doing today? We have Claudia Wells coming on the Method Active Speaks. So today we really want to talk to you and see what's going on. And I would like you to introduce your partner there. And these great posters that we got going around here. I'm trying to get the audience to see some of them. And then we'll come back to you ladies. There we go. That looks really good. All right, so you want to tell us what this is all about. I'm Claudia Wells, and this is Taiji Charity. Hello. And uh, I'm on the board of directors of our charity that Taiji Charity uh, founded called Kids in the Spotlight. And you might remember me from uh, playing Jennifer Parker in the original Back to the Future and a lot of different TV shows. And I currently have my store in Studio City called Armani Wells. And Taiji, tell us about the chair. Thank you. It's so great to be here, of course, with the fabulous Claudia Wells. Um, kids in the Spotlight is a nonprofit organization, and we train foster care kids how to create, write, cast, and star in their own 10 minute short films. And it culminates in what we call an annual Movies by Kids for Kids Film Festival and Awards Ceremony. We create an Oscar-like event for these kids who completed our program and made their own short films. And we present them with awards for like Best Actor, Best um, Screenplay, Best Story. And they walk the red carpet and celebrities um, like Claudia and several others come out and walk the red carpet with them. And we just create a, an entire um, Oscar-like ceremony for these kids. Really Why did you guys start this? Oh gosh, it started because I had the privilege of visiting an all-girls um, foster care facility and um, when I was visiting this facility with my husband who's an actor, I was walking around the girls dorm and I saw these little twin beds and pictures hanging above the beds and drawers underneath and my heart just went out for these girls. I'm like, how is it that you know, these girls are in foster care and I was raised with a mother and a father and I just felt so much compassion for them and wanted to do something to give back. And then I saw another group of girls in the corner and they were kind of what I call acting out. And I was like, why are they acting like that? Company is, you know, here with them. They shouldn't be misbehaving. And I took a moment and thought about that. And I said, you know what? These girls aren't really acting out. They're just asking for attention. They just want to be recognized, somebody to, to recognize me. And two years later, um, I was literally up one night crying and praying and asking God for direction. Wanted to do something to give back. Um, kept thinking about them periodically, but didn't know what to do. And it was a good Friday in 2009. I, I remembered um, those girls and it's like, what can I do? And I believe God gave me a vision for this organization called Kids in the Spotlight. Give them a platform to tell their stories their way. If you think attention is what they want, give it to them. And Kids in the Spotlight was birthed and called a few of my good friends like Claudia and say, look, I had this great idea. I'd like you to be on the board. And we started the organization. And how did you get involved? I got involved when Taiji called me and I'm on board because I know her. And I knew that if she had something going on, it was going to be special, it was going to be right, it was going to be real, and I wanted to be a part of it. And these kids, it really changes their lives. I mean, they go from no hope to having a purpose in waking up that day. They learn that they were made to be special, that their history is not who they are, that right. there's a future, and that they, they have skills and talents that they never realized they had. And they have an outlet where their horror can be turned into something creative. Absolutely. And it's a blessing. And uh, you know what, when I was acting, um, one of my favorite things about acting was being able to be people that I couldn't be in my life. Whether that was someone who was able to express anger or just different things that I could be more of who I was inside. But I had the platform of acting to do it. These kids get that. They get to be able to express themselves wholeheartedly. And it's okay and it's allowed. And, and we live in L.A., so yes. who knows what careers might stem from this. I mean, they might want to be a director or cameraman or gaffer. Or we bring in professional directors, professional cameramen, professional makeup artists. Um, I, I got the privilege of playing the meth addict mom of, of a 15-year-old in one of our films that we're screening this year. 
Which one is that? It's called You Are Not Alone. Is that there? It, we don't have the poster yeah. up here. Oh, These okay. are the posters from last, last year. year. Mm -hmm. And um, So these kids have done quite a bit of work. Oh, yeah. yes. We've done 20, well, now it's 23 short films in four years. Wow. Yes. Good for you. Yes, yes, yes. And the thing is, um, this one was written by the 15-year-old actress who acted in it. And, yeah. you know, I was talking to the kids, and I mean, we filmed it in a room that they pulled out the furniture for, that another foster kid actually lives in. I mean, this is where they live. This is their whole life. And so for us to be able to come in and they, they can see new people and trust us because it's a regular, it's a 10 week program and we come in each week and spend time with them and, and it's more than just a short film. It's, it's, it's transforming. It's like transforming, it. yeah. It is. It's I, I, I like to call it therapeutic, although we're not really doing therapy with them. It's, Acting is kind of therapeutic. For it me. is. It yeah, acting and is so a way. And so is writing. Isn't? And so is writing. And these kids get, they yeah. write their own stories. They star in their own stories. And we bring industry professionals in to audition in front of these kids. So they get to say who's going to star in their film. And yeah. so it's like they're in control. I That's mean, right. when you're in the foster care system, you have your attorneys basically dictating what you do. You have your social worker dictating what you do. You have, the, you know, the facility administrators dictating what you do. But when we come to them, we give them to, the power to dictate. This is your story, your film. Tell us how you want it done. But we give them the tools to do it, and we kind of guide them along the way. Right. And they get to accomplish something. Yes. They get to come. It's, it's September 20, October 26th. Yes. Every year. It's the last Saturday in October. And, and where is this held? Uh, it, this year's going to be at Sony, Sony Studios. Oh. Sony Studios. Oh. Yeah. The last few years, it's been at the Writers Guild Theater in Beverly Hills. But um, this year, Sony came through for us. And um, Claudia worked that out very well. <laughs> Sony came through for us this year. So we're going to be screening on a, on a Sony lot this year. Well, how do you... People get in touch with you the, the, to attend this. Oh, just our website, um, right. www.kidsinthespotlight.org, or the short version is www.kitsinc.org. And you can RSVP, and it's free. And yeah. you, you don't even it's need free. the www's anymore. <laughs> no, Not anymore. Really don't. Absolutely. You really don't. Worldwide Worldwide web. Web. <laughs> they, 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 nobody uses it anymore. Exactly. That's true. It so comes true. up. The is there a phone is, number or something that you... Have where sure. people can get, please. Absolutely, they can contact us. We uh, we can be reached at 818-441-1513, or we can be reached at 310-512-7848. Those are our two Say um, them both lines. against the one. Please. Yes, 818-441-1513, and also 310-512-7848. Those are two numbers. Because yeah. when people leave a phone number, they go, blah, blah, blah. Yes. yes. You got to do it slow. It takes me 12 and times, so and I'll repeat to get exactly. it. Exactly. <laughs> What's so great also for these kids is they get to really see what they've accomplished. It's a yes. tangible, absolutely concrete, I did this, I was a part of this. They get to go home with the Play DVD of their film. They get the poster of their film. So Do they know, write the? You said they write they them. They actually write So a write lot of this is scripts. based on... True life. Yes, a lot of this is based on loosely so, their stories. Right. Absolutely, absolutely about bullying and um, this one is called revenge. You know, trying to in his imaginary world taking um, the bully and teaching the bully a lesson, and you know it's just that's what it's about abandonment for them and things like that. So and some of them try to try to do creative things that make you laugh. You know, they try to bring humor even even in their dark situations. So they're very creative. And they use Final Draft. The company Final Draft donated the really? software. Oh, so great. they're learning to write using a professional software. And they get awards from the Writers Guild. Yeah, we give the we register all of their scripts with the Writers Guild. So their scripts are registered under their name so that no one can take that right That's from great. them or their story from them. And we present them with their certificates. So we register You know, one of the gifts of all this I, that, that you might want to let your students know and the people I'm a member of the Actors Studio in Marty Landau. He said, You know, pain that we have is an actor's gift. Mm. So what I'm hearing is, you know, stories of bullying and all this and that and abandonment. The pain, for them, they can turn it into a gift. Absolutely. And that's what happens here when you put this That's the best out. part of it, I think. Absolutely. Yeah, it's turning it into a that's gift, right. all that pain. Absolutely. And I know you know pain, and we all know it. Yes. And uh, I had a friend who wrote a book, uh, a great actress, her name was uh, Rachel Roberts. 
she committed suicide out here in 1980. She drank by poison. And the book was about, we all, you know, everybody has a story, but we all also have that scream. And that's what sometimes what I'm, what I'm getting from you is you're trying to get that scream out of these kids mm -hmm. so they can deal with, because you can deal with, you know, something, but the scream is what gets you. That's right. Absolutely. That's it exactly. Yeah. Absolutely. So you that's really, it. yeah, yeah that's really. Outlet. Don't bottle it in. Express it. Use Express it, yes. Use that creative force. And, and, and be your grateful story will for help it. somebody else. Right. You know? Yes. Your story helps someone else. As they say, no pain, no gain. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You know, there's a meaning behind that. And, and as an actor, a little writer, or anything in the arts, and in life, you learn. Absolutely. And we all learn the hard way, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. and Some which of us is, harder than others. Right, really, <laughs> that's true. You know, I mean, I, I come from a background that I understand. I did 16 years. I was in Attica, Sing Sing, and all those places, in reform schools. Mm -hmm. So I understand what you're talking about. And they didn't have things like this today that the whole world was aware of. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's so much help now because people are aware yes. of the, the mm -hmm. harshness of life yes. and unfairness of life, I guess, if you want to say it. Well, one thing I want to mention is that uh, we're a grassroots charity. I mean, we started this and, and we're, we hang by the skin of our teeth oftentimes. It costs, what is it, $9,000, $10,000 for, for a 10-week session? For 10 a 10-week, yeah. and we pay for it. So we're, what's it called? C501 501C3 C3 charity and donations are they make the difference they really actually make So where can they make do you have you have a website I imagine Yeah the website the kids in the spotlight kids in the spotlight now yes Yeah right please yeah we donate We donate We do We do Yeah no you have to I mean that's how things go and then if people donate and and it's yours then you can control control it 100% of their donations goes to back to the program. No one gets paid. The there's no. That's good 100%. to know. Yeah, 100%. Because there's so many charities out there where uh, you know, 90% of it goes in their pockets. Right. Yeah. Well, I can say especially that I am kids. the executive director and um, I'm not getting paid. So. No. But I mean, especially <laughs> no. with kids, that's the biggest come on. You know, let's do it for the kids, the children. Yes. Yes, and, exactly. and, but it's going in it their is pocket. It's unfortunate. It is very unfortunate. <laughs> yeah. So it's good to be legit. We utilize those funds to, to make these posters and make DVD packaging and to bring in a professional crew to actually shoot and give us the professional quality that, that we like. But on administ administratively, none of our administrators are paid. Yeah. But we hope to get there one day. We hope to get enough funding or grant money or something that we can pay, you know, a well, small Well, yeah, it would help you. It'd be, you know, when people are being paid, they do, you know, they can sh you can have them there more often mm -hmm, mm -hmm. on a regular basis yes. instead of, and you have people like Claudia who's, I know, I know she's behind you, it's got to be legit. Yes. Thank you. you know, yes. No, no, I mean, I know your background, I know who you are, yes. and I know that you wouldn't get involved in something like that. Four years? Yeah. And and four I, years. I mean, I, I, I describe this as my charity. I really, my heart is so in it. This is, this is... It's my charity. It's yes. her charity. It's it's ours. It's ours. It's ours. Okay, that's a it's good our point. kids. Absolutely. And and so you really hope to get it where you can pay people and 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 can you branch out? Do you hope to branch out? And where are you located now? Well, right now we're in. Well, we we travel to these different agencies, but our oh. home office is Burbank. I mean, that's where okay, we're stationed. So you're in the valley, we're stationed, yeah. Yes, we're in the valley, but we go to these different facilities. We don't ask them to come to us. We don't have a facility where kids come to us. We literally pack up and we go to them for ten weeks at a time. Well, how do you and find we shoot the kids? On their facility. Um, we work closely with Department of Children and Family Services, oh, and see. then by word of mouth, it just kind of gets out. Other agencies hear about us and give us a call, and sometimes we just call agencies like your larger agencies. We've been at Hillsides, we've been at um, Hathaway Sycamore, we've been at Penny Lane. So these are your larger group uh -huh. home agencies. And we, yeah. we call them sometimes, or sometimes they just call us. And some of the ones that we've worked with before, we just go back and do you know the program again a couple of times at, at those facilities. Wow. So when we have more funding, we'll be able to do more of the programs, though. So yes. I mean, right now we had four, three or four this year? No, I, this year we only went to one facility this year. Funding was really tight. So we only went to one facility, but we shot three films That's at right. that facility. In the same day. Really? Yes, yes. in the same day. <laughs> <laughs> well, today with digital, it's, it's, uh, 
It's doable. It is doable. You know, it's amazing. Well, I, we had three different camera crews, though. Well, that's yes, great. Yeah. So. Well, hopefully. Yes, we had yeah. to. It when was, I, it it was, when you do a movie now, they have no qualms about take after take because they can do it now. Ours was... Oh, I meant to take that off. Go ahead, keep talking. Ours was um, oh, one see. take wells. <laughs> one take wells. <laughs> we had to go in, shoot, and go out. And I actually got a chance to see... Um, some of that film already. I got a sneak preview, although we're going to actually see the film on Saturday, October 26th. I got to see a rough cut, and my, 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 the girl still got it. Yay! She's got it. She's got it. <laughs> she gave a performance that you really don't want to miss. It was a very powerful story and just powerful performances from our students to, to Claudia to, it was just it's really good. I got do, you, do, do you have coaching? Because I'm going to say, if these kids are acting in their own film, well, I, you, you know what? Young kids like that, you don't really need to teach them how to act. Yeah, some of you them know? have it in them. But we well, do. it is. Have you ever watched a little acting. kid drink, you know, when you were a little girl, when you had the tea mm -hmm. and it was in the right, sand? Right, 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 you're playing. They believed it. I mean, you, I, if you, I used to tell my students, if you want to know what acting is all about, just watch a child. Mm -hmm. That's true. Yeah. Tell tell him the um, process of the ten weeks, like how you separate absolutely, them. Absolutely, mm. absolutely. We go in our ten weeks uh, sessions are set up. Um, the first five weeks is writing, where we go in with the computers. Like I said, we use Final Draft. We take up to twenty kids per location. We divide them into four groups of five, right. so they write as a team. So they're learning collaboration. They're learning respect for each other's um, creative outlet and things like that. And the first five weeks, we have a writing instructor, usually two writing instructors, to help these kids understand what a protagonist is, an antagonist, and how to structure a story, how to actually set up your plot, your theme, and all of that. So that's the first five weeks. By the end of the fifth week, you actually have a story, and we're doing table reads and things like that. Then they transition into three weeks of acting, where we take the characters that they wrote about, and they flush those characters out. They develop those characters to see what elements and what changes and nuances to that character that they want people to see so they learn character development and then they transition into one week of casting where we train them about what a casting session is like what auditions are like and then we open it up to them what they audition so even though they write it they actually audition in front of each other to be cast in their own films so they audition in front of each other and then we invite industry professionals to come in and audition for some of the other roles like the adult roles and things right. like that and they sit behind They're the a casting conference people. table it's cool and isn't it Okay. And they actually, these people come in, audition in front of them, and when they're done, they all come together, look at the headshots, review them, and talk about what this person brought and how this person would match this person, and they cast their own film. And then the last week is production, when we bring in a full crew, craft service, makeup artists, everything, and we shoot their films. And wow. so that, that's the 10 weeks. That's really interesting. It's, yeah. it's a wonderful Because I was wonderful curious journey. about the acting and all that. If you have, you know... If, well, yeah, I guess you don't teach the method. <laughs> no, not in Meisner. three weeks. Not in three Meisner. weeks. Yeah. It's a not Sanford girl. Weeks. You were a Sanford Meisner? I did it uh, with um, Al Hanti. Oh, he, he was a Meisner man. Huh? But our hey, co-director so teaches Meisner at the Joanne Barron. I, oh, yeah, right. I did a pilot Sharon with her. Hogg. Does you know, she? she? I did a pilot for 14 um, years. with Joanne before she was an acting teacher, Lovers and Other Strangers with um, oh, that's all Renee right. Taylor and Joe Yeah, right. What a great movie. We did the pilot. Wow. Oh, really? You know, yeah. she attended well, that's the right. film festival. But the movie, I remember the Wasn't movie. Wasn't it great? Great movie. Wow. I love Renee and Joe. Oh. We should invite them. Well, Joanne attended. Great. She attended... Um, year before last, and she actually gave certificates away to the kids for um, acting. She gave um, three um, acting lessons at, at Joanne Barron's. This acting. world has four people in it, and they all know each other. It's yes. true. I always it say that. You really, it's that. true. It seems that way. And did I get wardrobe from your shop? <laughs> <laughs> no, the wardrobe was quite interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe next year. Yeah. <laughs> we're, try, we're, we're trying to expect. Right now, our actors, we ask them to bring different options for us in terms of wardrobe, and then we have a wardrobe person that's helping pick out things. But we haven't branched out into creating partnerships mm -hmm. with, with store owners and things like that to donate. Because we don't have a facility to house all of these things. But mm -hmm. we have a great relationship, relationship with the hand prop house. Um, we get all of our props from there at no expense, and then we just take them back. So, But we're yeah. working on one. But 
body addressed the part very well. <laughs> and, and, and I guess the biggest thing what I'm getting it from this too is that these kids learn responsibility. Absolutely. Which Absolutely. is character development. Yes, right. And yeah, character development is a better word. Uh, Absolutely. Because which is a little bit it, today it's such a me world. And they get to have love, and yeah. they get to have people who are there for no ulterior reason, no mm. motive. Yes. There's they're not going to get in trouble. Yes. They're there just to be there and assist and help and support and love on them. Yes. It's the playground they never had. Yes. Yeah. And yeah. it's interesting you say that because we watch them from the first day we come in. Their guards are up. Like, who are you? Why are you here? Yeah, people make promises all the time. They're going to do this for us. Again. And we watch them week after week. We see that hard exterior just kind of melt away and let us in. And then by the time we do the festival, we can't get rid of them. They're like, are you coming back? Do it again. How can we do another film? I'm like... <laughs> We had to break you in order to get you to participate. But it's it's good to watch that transformation. So they go from cocoons to butterflies. Mm -hmm. Now your background, is, is it in the theater world? or? No, my background is, is um, the corporate world. The cor I worked as a, a litigation claim specialist for various insurance companies for 16 years. Oh. Um, but I've always loved the arts. And um, when I married my husband, who was a wonderful actor. Antonio Charity. Antonio D. Okay. Charity. Um, a wonderful actor. I got exposed to theater in ways that I never, never knew. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I love this. So that's, it's my way of giving back to these kids. Something that I didn't have when I was a child, but something that I love. So... Is there anything we could see your husband in? That Absolutely. He's actually on set today. He's working on the new um, House of Lies with Don Cheetah, the one oh, Don right, Cheetah is right. director of. Yeah, oh, he has that's a uh, on role. Showtime or HBO? Yes, absolutely. Right, Showtime. Yeah, yes, right. yes, yes. But he's done, he's done several episodics from Law and Order Special Victims Unit to... New York Coons. actor? Yes, we okay. came from New York. Yes, okay. we, we were on the East Coast. The and best. Then we moved to L.A. He's <laughs> serious. I've seen him in theater. Well, New York, yeah. Well, it's a theater. New York actors are totally different, I find, from L.A. actors. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, they, they, L.A. seems to have more of that movie star quality where New York is acting. He's a serious, well-trained actor. It's, it, 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 you don't see that much anymore. And the, where you see it come from now is like from Australia, England, mm -hmm. where they that's still true. train. Yes, that's true. You know, so the, you hear the tinge of accent in their voice. Yes. Because the American actor doesn't want to train anymore. They, they want to be movie stars, not actors. You know, I started ACT in San Francisco when I was a child. Really? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, and at the Opera House. San Opera. Francisco Grand Opera. I did oh. 10 operas from the age of 8 till I was 12. That's oh, a, wow. I'm, I'm a big opera fan. I have on, on Facebook, uh, uh, you spell her name, uh, oh God, it's Y U, uh, no, L U Y E. Mm -hmm. That's how you pronounce it. She's, a, she's from China. She's an opera singer. I'll, I'll send you the thing. Okay. She's really great. I just got her to come into Actors Studio as a, in New York. She's coming to do the 90th. Birthday for Maria, Maria Callas oh, Gala. Nice. I was yeah. so blessed. I worked with Placido Domingo, oh. Luciano Pavarotti. That's my Mateo idol. Papaye, Luciano. Luciano. <laughs> there, there's, you know, I got him upstairs and uh, I just listened. To, I mean, I these, grew up with these people, you know, literally. I believe you, but I, I had a dream uh, that I, this was a dream, but I was driving in a car and I looked to my right and it was a very modern car and in the back seat was Luciano and he went like this and I. I was like, Luciano, hi! Because, you know, we always <laughs> hug and he's cooked for my family and all kinds of things. And then I followed him in my car to this parking lot of a high rise. And he quickly got out of the car, which he's a big guy, but he quickly got out, went into an elevator and went up. I got out of my car and I talked to the driver and I said, that was Luciano. We're really good friends. I want to say hi. And he said, no, he's already gone up in the elevator. Two days later, I heard on the radio he had passed away. Oh, that's the night I had that dream. God, oh, is that amazing? Gosh, the wow. Only time I've ever had that's a dream. scary. Yeah. It, wow. So he took yeah, the, the time to say goodbye to me in a wow. dream the night he died. Pancreatic oh, cancer. Yeah. Wow, it's deep. Yeah, that, that, is, is. that is deep. And he would, and he was still heavy when you saw him, because I would have thought he had lost a lot of weight by then. Uh, I hadn't seen him since I was twelve. Mm. So in my dream, he looked just like he looked. When well, I oh, was. in your dream when you saw him, yes. Oh, that's right. I'm thinking you really saw him. But, but I really, I mean, I spent so much time with him and with um, Placido and. Yeah. 
that's my childhood was backstage at the Opera House. That was my home, literally. That was so where I was. Yeah, yeah. That's and I was a, a that's founding a gift. member yeah. of San Francisco Girls Chorus, which mm. was an offshoot of the San Francisco Boys Chorus, yeah. which wow. is a really big deal. So I, I had a... a Do you sing a, now? I oh, oh. sing in church. In and church? I sing in the car. <laughs> <laughs> I only sang in opera so I could have an excuse to act. That was like, yeah. if it took singing for me to be able to be on stage and act, then I was going to sing. I'll Good do for it. you. <laughs> Good for you. you sh this is a great story to tell because a lot of people I don't think know this much. Exactly. You know, it's amazing how sometimes things just come out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. Yeah, how do how do you get the Pavarotti from this Luciano from right. this? <laughs> you know? I mean, I mean. Oh, uh, I can tell so many stories. It's it's a funny one because I had mentioned to you girls earlier that I was away, and I did you know, and I used to always sign my letters. P.S. I like the opera. You know, that's, which, my that's my life. That's my know, childhood. Which meant that I wasn't really the inmate that you thought I was. Mm -hmm. you know, something mm -hmm. better. I was something else. Because yes. opera is one of the greatest gifts. I, well, the first movie I saw was when I was a kid was The Great Caruso with Lanza. Yeah. Mary Lanza. And I got goose pimples. Mm -hmm. pimples. And, that, that, and in that King Coast when he played uh, St. Louis Blues. Oh, nice. And he played W.C. Handley. When I heard Nat King Cole sing, it became my favorite after that, until his day. You know, Nat and Luciano. And, of course, I had to give respect to Sinatra, you know. I mean, he's Italian, and he's great. He had the clearest voice I ever heard. Him and Nat King Cole, I used to tell my students, if you want to learn speech, listen to a Nat King Cole record. Because you have to open your mouth, learn how to speak. If you ever listen to Nat King Cole, pretend... You know, and it it'll really help your speech. The energy they put out is just. Ex I remember um, backstage the opera. I always used to knock on Placida's door and go visit, and I touched his shoulder, and you could feel the heat. It was just a thick heat of energy coming off him. He had just come back from being on stage, and it's wow. just what they give yeah. us. Thank God he's still around, and when he's directs amazing. more. Amazing. He used to tell. Um, he was a baritone, though originally they said. And then he's. I don't know. That's what I had heard. He His was parents original. were very successful singers in Mexico. Yeah, but yeah, and he was a baritone. They said. I didn't know that. And then he went to a. Became a tenor. I, I His dream was always to be a director. Well, he does that now. I know, and, and to have an opera house, which he has. Now. Which he has now. Yep. Living the dream. That's what it's all about. That's what these kids, you know, it's yeah. things like that. When Luciano in Italy, his father was an opera singer. I mean, if you ever watch that, and Maria, uh, Maria Freyne, oh, the, you know, the soprano. Uh -huh. They came from the same town. They grew up together. Maria Freyne. She married the the great bass player. I forgot his name. But uh, hey, we, we were, look at this. We're talking about this, and we're at the opera. <laughs> Who knows what we talk about? But let's get it's that number because we're running out of October time now. October twenty sixth, okay. Sony Studios, three to five is our screening. Everyone's invited. You need to RSVP yes. at kidsinthespotlight dot org or k i t s inc dot org. Yes. You can get a hold of me through claudiawells dot com. That's my fan site. If anyone wants autographed pictures, I ship worldwide. Mm -hmm. Or my men's store, armaniwells dot com in Studio City, and. Um, that's a great store. I mean, I mean, I mean, again, you have some good, good quality stuff there. And great there. deals. You know, like, on December 22nd, I'll be celebrating, no, on December 19th, I'll be celebrating 22 years from the day I opened. Really? The same location. Nice. Wow. Isn't that cool? Is, I know you almost that long. Yeah. Wow, it's that long. It's I remember seeing that sign. Never been in there. I kept meaning. I always felt sort of, well, all the years that I've known you, you're always so quiet. <laughs> you know, and always that, and and I knew behind that there had to be something good. <laughs> you know, great. it's the quiet ones that you got to watch out for. <laughs> There's something good about that. I always, Thank you. and, and you've done. I, and when I've seen you around, you really tried to help people, which is really, really thank you. And so I want to thank you, ladies, for coming on. And this thank will be on YouTube, you. folks. And if you want to, get, it'll be on Facebook. And the Method Actor Speaks. You can come here, and or you can call me at 818. I'm looking at you girls while I'm giving the number. I think 818-773-0991, <laughs> or 
or the method actor speaks at Gmail. They have so many different emails now, days, but all that. Yeah. So thank you, ladies, and thank the posters are great, and and the best to you at Sony, yes. and that's October. 26, okay. 3 to 5 p.m. We got that. And right. I'm in one of the movies. Yay. Oh, which one? I'm in You Are Not Alone. You Are Not Alone. Well, whether you're around, nobody.